The sky above Paris is grey, but no matter, because we have a fashion show to attend. We've been invited by the Abbé Pierre Foundation, in conjunction with the Emmaus and its Friperie Solidaire charity shop. The venue is the Celle Olympe de Gouges, named after a French woman who campaigned for gender equality and the abolition of slavery. She died by the guillotine in 1793. She's a very important figure for us. She was a fighter, as are we. We're leading the battle for inclusion. We want all victims of social exclusion in France to be able to become self-sufficient again through work. Every year, La Friperie Solidaire handles 400 tons of clothes. They're sorted, then either sent to countries that need them or recycled. We need to be economically viable, which means people must want to buy what we make. But we also want to be a bit creative. We want to use our employees' talents, that's the most important thing. René Fossère spent two years at the Friperie, the maximum length of a rehabilitation contract. Being trained as a salesperson helped him to build up his confidence. It's a very varied clientele. You need to be able to adapt to the needs of each client. They haven't got a lot of money and, of course, our prices reflect that, whether in Paris or out in the suburbs. It's a system that works very well. Anayel used to work as a medical assistant for severely disabled children. She learned to make clothes so that she could make items that were especially adapted to their needs. Today, with the help of 35 fellow couturiers, she designs her own collections. The way we work is a little archaic. We look around, we see what's happening on fashion websites, and then we take a look at what we were able to do, and that's when we start looking at how we can modify that patterns we already have. This is about four days' worth of work for an employee on our scheme. You can see there's a lining and pockets to do. How much is it? This one is 110 euros. The prices need to be within an acceptable range for our customers. A made-to-measure coat like that, well, usually, that would cost two or three times as much. But we can't ask for that sort of price. We want Mr. and Mrs. Average to be able to wear these clothes. There are only 10 copies of these coats produced, all made with offcuts. So it's important to be able to adapt. We weren't expecting to receive any green. We got some green and we ended up making a coat. Backstage, the models are in makeup. The show's budget doesn't stretch to professionals, so the Friperie Solidaire has teamed up with a local training academy. We're more or less able to do what we want, and it also depends on what the models want. What have they asked for? She told me I could do what I wanted, as long as it wasn't too flashy, so no red lips, no yellow. She wanted mainly neutral colors. As for the models, they all work on the charity shop floor. For the first run on the catwalk, I'm wearing the brown suit. There's a short jacket, quite tight. It's made of wool. I really like it. Valérie Bonnefant used to work in the restaurant business. In the 90s, she lost her job and only managed to get by with the help of charity organizations. Now she takes pride in making beautiful, seductive clothes. Being well-dressed makes you feel good. To feel better in your skin. I've lived on the streets, and honestly, we relied on these sort of charities for clothes. It's really the minimum. It's so easy to lose your dignity, especially for a woman. I'm not saying that it's easy for men, but it's harder for women. So when I send the other model down, you go right, then cross on the left. There's also some star power in the form of TV star Cora Jamson. It's the same message I share in my music. It's all about solidarity, love and sharing. And are you wearing Friperie Solidaire? Yes, I'm dressed entirely in Friperie Solidaire. <laughs>
Friperie Solidaire works as a business. It pays salaries to the team leaders, while the salaries of those who are part of the rehabilitation program are paid by the state. 60% of participants go on to find stable work. When you're working on reinsertion projects, it's very important to create a sense that you're part of a team. It's that that really boosts people's self-confidence. It's what you need when you've been away from work for quite long, if you don't speak very good French. That's really the logic that underpins this runway show. The name of this collection, Pernèche Solidaire, or Spirit of Solidarity, was voted for unanimously. It's a name that points to the joys to be found in intercultural exchange and tolerance. We're always very proud to be able to show that it's possible to dress differently, elegantly, while also being ethical. We also wanted to show that it was possible to give meaning to the clothes we wear. So yes, we're very happy. We'll definitely have a lot to talk about next time we're sorting out the clothes donation. Proof, if you needed it, that fashion can be a force not only for glamour, but also for good.